G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have another episode of the PC Setup Showdown. Last week was a bit of a tight one, but in the end, Vlad ended up taking out the victory. We will be emailing you to collect further details, so keep an eye on your email inbox over the coming weeks. For this week's episode, we have three new contestants, Brad, Jared, and Lance, and you will be seeing their builds. Remember to leave your comments down below for which one you like. I'll also leave all of their specs in the description below in case you guys wanna go check out some of the parts that they have used for these builds. If you would like to submit your own build, remember to check out the video link in the description as well. It is pretty simple. We are actually looking for some potato setups as well. So get them in guys, even if you think you don't have a chance to win, we always group your PC in the same category as two other PCs. So we try and make it very fair so it gives people a good chance of winning. Anyway guys, I hope you all enjoy this video. Remember, leave your votes down below. Our first submission is from Jared and he has no name for his setup, so I'm going to call it, look at that cable management. For the specs, he is using the NZXT H700i case and the ASUS Strix Z270F gaming motherboard paired with an Intel i7 7700K CPU. His graphics is strong, rocking the Aorus GTX 1080 Ti GPU. For the RAM, he has 16GB of G-Skill Triton Z RGB memory, running at 3600MHz a 500 gigabyte Samsung 960 EVO boot drive, and a one terabyte Samsung 850 EVO for the storage. No custom list was provided, however, I can see some sleeved cables and LED strips, which you have done well to hide so that all we can see is the ambient lighting. It makes for a cleaner build. The monitors of choice are the Samsung 34 inch and the Alienware 34 inch 1440p panels. Lots of screen real estate. The keyboard is the Logitech G910 paired with the Logitech G903 mouse. And lastly, for the audio, he has a set of Astro A50s and a set of studio speakers. Overall, I love this setup. Cables are very clean, and I love that you ran the keyboard and mouse pad cables along the desk together. You place the nano leaves well so that the monitors block the view of the cable hanging down. And I love that you positioned the monitor cables behind the monitor arm Fantastic color coordination. Thank you very much for entering. Our second submission is from Lance and he calls his setup Myrtle RGB. For the specs, he's using the Corsair Carbide 400C case and the MSI Z270 Crate Gaming motherboard paired with an Intel i7 7700K CPU at 4.9 gigahertz. Powering all of those pixels, he has the MSI GTX 1080. For the RAM, he is using 16 gigabytes of T-Force Dark running at 3000 megahertz and three terabytes of Western Digital hard drive space with a 512 gigabyte Samsung M.2 boot drive. Keyboard and mouse specs are not provided. However, we can see that they are from Razer and Steel Series respectively. The monitors of choice are a 29 inch LG monitor paired with a BenQ monitor. So let's start with the PC. The PC itself looks really clean until the lower portion, which could use a bit of tidying up, perhaps a few zip ties. I also believe that this case is meant to come with a power supply cover, which would really tidy up the bottom section. I love these fans and they are providing great lighting throughout the case. You also did a really good job routing the CPU pump cable. The setup itself has great cable management and I like how you added the wood backing for mounting the monitors instead of drilling into the wall. Personally, I would consider painting it white. Thank you very much, Lance, for entering. Our final submission is from Brad, and he calls his project Lazy Boys Luxury B&W Gaming Setup. B&W, I believe, stands for black and white. For the specs, he's using the Corsair 100R case and the Gigabyte H81M motherboard paired with an Intel i5 4430 CPU. The graphics of choice is the MSI GTX 1060 Armor GPU. For the RAM, he has 10 gigabytes. However, he does not list the brand or the specs, but I can see it looks like it is from Corsair. The storage is a one terabyte hard drive. Brad's PC would have to be the most customized of today's episode. He has an LED strip running along the sides of the case and he even made his own GPU backplate and power supply cover out of acrylic and white vinyl. 
The monitors are two Samsung 24 inch displays side by side. The keyboard is the Corsair K70 RGB paired with a Corsair Harpoon RGB mouse. Right beside Brad's Corsair Void headset, he has his pet hamster. Brad has done excellent work with cable management with cables routed through holes and easy to access charging cables. All of the cables behind the PC look nice and managed. Brad says that he stopped the power supply cover short to allow for airflow. Personally, I would like to see the PC put on a stand off of the carpet with the power supply fan facing down and the power supply cover continued all the way to the bottom. I believe that this would clean up the PC a lot more and allow for that airflow for the power supply. Thank you very much, Brad, for entering. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that video. Remember to leave your votes down below. I'll leave all of the specs in the description as well, as well as the video link on how to submit your own setup for a chance of winning a prize on this channel. Remember to leave a like and subscribe, guys. Check out more videos on the channel just like this one. Plenty of other uh, custom PCs and reviews, modding tutorials, and much more, guys. And guys, if you like shirts like this, let us know if you want us to start making some shirts to actually sell on the channel. Amelia made this for my birthday. We've got quite a few different designs. This is a bit of a collage of all of our PCs that we've created over the years. It says designs by IFR in the middle, but we're actually thinking of creating a way where you guys can submit your own image and we can print it on the shirt for you and then send it out to you. So let us know if this is something you guys want and we'll see you guys next week for another PC setup showdown.